Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Rose, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform. And today we're talking about the beginner's guide to veiling. But first, a word from our sponsor, The Little Catholic Box. The Little Catholic Box is a family-owned Catholic company that sends out quarterly subscription boxes to those who sign up. You can also purchase their items individually if you would like off of their online store. These items are quality and they support other Catholic businesses too. So don't miss out. You can use my link below in the description for 10% off your purchase today. The Little Catholic Box. Celebrate your faith in everything you do. So the first thing I want to touch on here is what is veiling? Why do we do it? Why do women do it? The main thing is that veiling is a beautiful tradition that has been upheld by women for over 2,000 years. Veiling is a sign of respect, holiness, and dignity. We veil in front of Christ, truly present in the Eucharist, to show respect towards him, but I also want you guys to notice that the tabernacle and the altar are also veiled because they veil what is holy. It is one of the most beautiful signs of reverence that women can do appearance-wise. So now let's talk about when you should veil. You should veil whenever you are in the presence of the most blessed sacrament. So during mass, before walking into church, during adoration, during Eucharistic processions, anything where the Eucharist is going to be visible, we should be veiling. What kind of veil should you wear? So traditionally, women who are married wear a black veil and women who aren't married wear a white veil. I personally have many different colored veils, so it really doesn't matter, but traditionally it is like white equals unmarried, black equals married, but people constantly change their veil color depending on the liturgical color or depending on what matches their outfit. So it's really not that big of a deal. I sometimes, especially for like Good Friday, um, Palm Sunday, etc., I will wear a black veil just because it's one of those solemn liturgical holidays, but you don't have to do that. It's up to you though, but yeah, traditionally it's white equals unmarried, black equals married. There's also a lot of different styles of veils. There is infinity veils, there's triangle veils, there's um, little doilies that you, they're just like little doilies that you put on your head too. I have all different types of veils, but those three are the most common. There's a lot of other ones too. Um, but again, those are the most common three is the triangle veils and then the mantillas and then the um, uh, infinity veils. Personally, for me, I am not the biggest fan of the infinity veils. I just feel like they're very big and I feel like they weigh down my hair quite a bit. Um, that's just my personal experience because there's so much fabric. I really like the triangle veils because I can either tie it behind my hair or under my chin so they don't come off. So I have a lot more flexibility with the triangle veils than I do the infinity veils, but there are beautiful infinity veils out there. Um, I just prefer triangle veils. Okay, the next question is one that I get quite often and it's what if I'm afraid to start veiling? Obviously, you don't wanna feel super self-conscious, especially if you aren't used to veiling. However, I'm gonna be honest with you, people don't care. Like you might feel like people are looking at you and a couple might just like turn to look, but honestly, they, they really do not care. And at the end of the day, it's important to remember that we should be veiling for Christ. We shouldn't be veiling for the acceptance of others. However, I was raised veiling, so it's really not a weird concept to me. However, I have plenty of friends who were not raised veiling, and so it was a bit more of a struggle for them to get used to it and not get self-conscious about it. So one of the biggest suggestions that I have for you guys who are a little worried about it is to get a veil that matches your hair color. There are tons of different veil options on Amazon and on Etsy. You could even make your own veil. That's if you want to sew and make a project. They're super easy to make. Tons of YouTube videos on it. Um, but just get a veil that matches closely to your hair color. But just try to get one that's closest to it so then it doesn't feel as unnatural as wearing like an electric blue. That way you don't stand out as much and you might feel a little bit more comfortable. Where should you get your veil? Now of course you can order them online, but I personally love supporting Catholic shops if possible. So if you have a Catholic store near you, I highly suggest you go support them and get your veils from them. If you don't have a Catholic store near you, then Amazon or Etsy will do perfectly fine. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna touch on is, do I have to wear a veil? Technically, no, you actually don't have to wear a veil. You could wear a very nice hat, no baseball caps, no cowboy hats, nothing like that. 
Obviously it has to be a very fancy, very nice hat. You could also choose to wear a doily, which is basically like a chapel veil kind of thing, which is like just a little round thing that you wear on your head. But no, you don't have to wear a veil. You could wear a very nice hat, a doily. Um, you could put a scarf over your head. Basically just cover your hair, your head in a very tasteful manner. And with all of that being said, I hope this was a good introduction for you who want to start veiling. If you have any more questions, of course, you feel free to email me or comment below. I don't always check the comments, but I do try to keep up with it. Um, so let me know if you have any more questions. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!